Measuring risk in the investing process. Why is it important? Well, number one, you cannot control something you can't measure. So what we want to do is learn how to measure risk so we can put together a portfolio properly based on our time horizon and our goals. Well, let's talk a little bit about what the implications are. I would love to have a portfolio that just goes straight up. That would be great. We know that doesn't happen in nature. We can have a portfolio that goes up and it goes down and it goes back up. Now, let's say that this curve right here represents a 10% return. The return from here to here, because it's on the same slope, would be what? 10%, right? From here to here, the return would be 10%, because again, it's along the same slope. But how we got there was different with each of the mini curves in here. Let's rewrite this line and say, let's take that first part of the curve and rewrite it right there. And the second part of the curve, write it where the market goes down, then it comes up. Now, what happens is I have the same exact average return between these three scenarios. But here's where the difference is. If I'm putting money away for retirement, I keep buying at lower and lower prices when I'm putting money in. And then just before I retire, the market goes up. I'm really happy when that happens. But what if I keep buying at higher and higher prices and then just before I retire, the market goes down? That's where I've got a problem. Now, we don't have the ability to choose between these scenarios. I can't choose the order of returns in the investing process. So what's a person to do? Well, when we put a portfolio together, we're putting things together that hopefully they have dissimilar price movement. And what happens is I end up with a portfolio with less volatility than the parts. The effect is this. I have lesser highs when the market's up and lesser lows when the market's down. So I end up with more of a predictable stream right there. And I end up with results that are more similar when I do that or more predictable anyway. So that's the idea behind diversification. And diversification is something that we do to reduce risk in the portfolio for more predictable outcomes.